finally Mr. Berlusconi, the T-bugger Berlusconi, decided to de resign in Italy, freeing this country. It's like it being with Mubarak or with Gaddafi, or if you look at the United States with all the Tea Party governor like Wisconsin, Ohio, Florida, those ones that are fucking up those states. Why I'm calling him the T-bugger? Why I'm calling it Tea Bugger? Because all the Tea Party now would say, Oh, you don't know history, you don't know anything, because the Tea Party has nothing to do with Berlusconi. I know that. I know the history of the Tea Party. I know also how the Tea Party has been hijacked by the Koch brothers, by the Republicans, by the corporations, and so on. I perfectly know this. You don't need to tell me that. The problem is different. The problem is that what Berlusconi did many years ago for Italy is exactly what the Tea Party is doing right now. So he is practically the founder of the Tea Party, if we can, I can use this word. It was the first one to put in practice, let's say this, that put in practice the Tea Party theories of uh, small government but a strong and very, very oppressive government at local level and privatizing everything. One of the things that Italy was proud of, it was the healthcare system was number two in the world after France. And the other one was the education system, so it was pretty good. We exported tons and tons of doctors, especially in the United States, that do, doing research here the offer of doctors in Italy is much higher than the demand, which is exactly the opposite in the United States, in which it's so expensive to go to, to, to college that the demand of doctor is much higher than the offer. So we have doctors here in the United States that come from whatever country, mostly Indians, and so on. So this guy controlled the press, this guy corrupt everybody. This guy put the corporation as people. Corporation are people. We just we we didn't we don't need to listen to the Supreme Court or Mitt Romney say the corporation are people. This guy did it. This guy they put in place. This guy put effective role of corporation as people. He privatized everything at the point that there was no more public possibility. He put the 10th country in the world, one of the most industrialized country in the world, on his knees, like Greece, like Portugal, in condition that you cannot even imagine. This guy destroyed one of the most industrialized country in the world. Italy has always been famous to have fucked up uh, governments, but at least several years ago, Italy has been always able to pay the debts and to be as a major player in Europe. Since he arrived, he brought this country on his knee. And the problem is that if Italy collapses, it's not like Greece, if Italy collapses, all the world collapses because it's one of the ten most industrialized countries. The same thing as if it happened in United States or Germany or France or UK. If these countries collapse, the world collapse because the economy is so interrelated, is so strong that you need not trillions, as I don't know how many tens and tens of trillions of dollars to save countries like this. So finally we got rid of this piece of shit. And if Americans can learn a lesson Wisconsin, Florida, uh, Ohio, please guys, don't do the same. We got exactly the example of how a person can destroy a country and this guy did it with this politics. So if you want to save the American ass and the states, American states ass, please throw this fucking debugger out of power because this is what this cancer create in your society. Like Berlusconi in Italy, these are exactly the same people that will destroy America. So next election, please think about because this cancer has to go.